Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you a fancy way to hide your menu drawer. And I think this looks pretty sleek and it's pretty easy to implement. So let me show you real quick by jumping into the code. So I've opened up a brand new flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page, I've got in my main function running my app, which is giving us this home page. And I've actually already created two basic pages. So the home page, which is just a blank scaffold and also a settings page, which is also a blank scaffold. So I put this in a folder of pages and this is where we'll begin. So the first thing to do is go to your pubspec.yaml and in the dependencies, we're going to add this package. So it's called hidden drawer menu and this is the latest version as of today. So let's save that and close it once that's done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file called hidden drawer dot dot. And let's import our material dot dot file and we're going to create a stateful widget called hidden drawer. And inside, instead of returning a container, we're going to return a hidden drawer menu. So you can see if you press tab, you can auto import what we just created. So make sure you got that at the top. Now it's got some red squiggles, so you can actually hover over it to see what it's requiring. So the first thing here, the named parameter background color menu is required but there's no corresponding argument. So let's start with that one. So background color menu, and I'm just gonna go for my color that I always go for. I'm just gonna go deep purple. And what else do we need? So the name parameter screens is required. So those are the two things that we need. So for the screens, so these are the two pages I wanna display, the home page and the settings page. So the way we're gonna do this is I'm going to create a list here called um, hidden drawer, or oh, it's called screen hidden drawer. So that's the type that I want in the list. And let's call this pages. And then when we initialize the state, we're going to add the two screen drawer items. So the way we're going to do this is let's say screen, I think it should be an item. So we've got screen hidden drawer and you can see in here it requires an item menu and the screen. So for the screen, that's just our home page. And let's make sure to import that one. And for the item menu, so you can start typing item hidden menu. And basically this one is just for the styling of the hidden menu. So same with this, you can kind of have hover over the red color or the red squiggle rather to see what is what's needed. So name is required, base style and selected style. So the name, it's just a string that it wants. So I'm just going to put in home page and the base style. For now, I'm just gonna put in a text style, which is what it wants. And here we can later, you know, use the font size, font style, font weight, and the color and all that. So I'm just gonna leave that blank for now. We'll come back to this one. And same thing for the selected style. So this is just for the texts. Cool. So. Now we've created our pages. We can put it in this list and in the hidden drawer menu, we should specify this so initial position selected. So zero, the first one. Cool. And when we come back to our main function, so right now I'm just returning the home page, which is this white blank scaffold. Now I'm going to return hidden drawer. Okay, and that's this new file that we created. So let's see how this looks. Sweet, so there it is. And you can see the little drawer menu there. So hopefully if I click this, it brings up our drawer. Cool.
cool and there it is now the functionality of it you can see is pretty easy to use and then from this point on let's try to decorate this up so i'll show you like for example one of the things is you see this app bar you can manually change the color but one thing i recommend is to go to your main.dart file and you can specify this theme so if you say uh if you say primary swatch and let's say for example i want to make a deep purple right then all of those kind of default colors will change alongside with it now in terms of the coloring so this is just where your preference would come into play but one thing that i recommend is in the hidden drawer let's make this kind of a lighter shadow like kind of give a contrast so you can see that there is a hidden background and then there's this foreground of a menu cool now right now we only have one page right so let's just copy this and create another one and this one is called let's just say settings and so that's the other page that we had and so this is the home page which you can specify here so zero meaning like that's the first one zero and then that's one and then the next one would be two so initially it's just the home page and then you can choose all right let's go to the settings page and then from those individual files you can now color in what you want right so like deep purple Right, so you can customize that from here. So going back to the hidden drawer menu, you see the fonts, it's looking pretty small, right? So that's kind of why we had this text style, which we didn't really specify anything. So that's why it's just the default. So one thing we can do is make the font weight maybe a bit bold. Let's make the size kind of bigger and the color so here you can specify what whatever color you want. One thing you can do is you could say like make this color white and instead make this a little a bit of a darker purple. And you can have this nice contrast. So same thing with the um, settings one. Now you can see there's a situation here where we need to specify a lot of different textiles. But one good way to do this is, if, especially if you're gonna duplicate a lot of these variables, I can come over here and say, so final, um, let's call it my text style. And then we can put this in a variable and so that we don't have to copy the same information. We can just give this to the other widgets. Cool, so that's looking good. Now, one other thing that's really important actually is um, the radius, or not the radius, the percentage rather. Here yeah, you can see like in the drawer menu, there's a slide percent. And if you hover over it, you can see it says 80%, right? So that's kind of like 80% of the width gone. So you could say maybe 60% so that it doesn't go so far, you know, out. We could even go 40% to make it even closer. So just depending on how you want this to, to behave. Now there's still more depth you can go in terms of customization. Like for example, you can see this corner radius. It's 10 by default. And it's just basically the radius of this page. I think it looks fine as default, but just to show you guys, if I say 100, it makes that radius go away. Cool. And then you can see that there's a shadow there. So if you want, you can specify some box shadows as well. So a lot of things you can customize about this. Cool. And in terms of the decoration, just one last thing. You can see this little blue guy. Let's see if I can change this. Color line selected. Okay, there we go. And that's how you change that little bar. Sweet, so that's basically it. I really like this package because it's really easy to use and 
I really like this hidden drawer so play around with it and let me know if you have any questions other than that thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace